start with the first program, okay? Given an array of numbers, all numbers occur even number of times, except one number. Find the odd occurring number. So find it. So here, 9. 9 is occurring one more time, so it's occurring even number of times, alright? So it's not 9. But rather 5. 5 is also occurring another time. 3 is also occurring another time. So the output shall be 2, okay? Because it's the only number that is occurring at an odd number of times. Or, you know, only one time, right? So, how do we approach this question? In the previous uh, you know, session, we saw all the basic operators, right? We saw, we saw an operator called this. What is it? It is nothing but XR. The answer to this question, though, is very simple if you know this operator. Alright? So, uh, let's uh, have a quick recap of this XR operation, okay? So, what was XR all about? XR was that if you have the same bits, then if you have the same bits, the output is going to be 0. If you have even you know, different bits, the output is going to be 1. So, we saw the day being 5 e. So, if A is 5 and B was 9 last time, right? Uh, so, at that time, if it was same, the output will be 0. If it was same, the output is 0. If it was different bits, the output is 1. Different bits, the output is 1. So, this is the basic idea of XOR. So, suppose that if I do it for A and B, A XOR, it, what will happen? 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So, now, same is 0. Same is 0, same 0, same 0. So the output will be 0. So it simply tells any number XR with a gap itself will give you an output of 0. Okay? So we are going to make use of this idea and this question. Alright. So right now, if, you know, I do the XR operation for every element in the array, what will happen? When this 9 is that way, this 9 XOR with this 9, what will happen? You will get an output of 0. Similarly, this 5, XOR with this 5 will give an output of 0. This 3, XOR with this 3 will again give an output of 0. So, what will be left out? You will be left out with the answer of 2. Alright? So, that is the basic idea we will be following. So, um, let us return this number integer. Alright? So, it find the odd occurrence number. Okay? This is the name of function that I am giving. And in array, I get this array as input array. Yes, that's it. And uh, the number of elements as well. Not in there. Alright. So right now what I'm going to do is that let me travel 0 in answer is equal to 0 right now. I don't know what the answer is. But what I'm going to do is that I'm going to travel the entire array. So how do I travel the entire array? Simple. For instance, I 0 for using a for loop. For instance, i0, i is less than n minus 1, i plus this. Alright? So now, we have to do the XR operation for every element in the array, okay? So then at the end, we will be left off with the element that has occurred odd number of times. Okay? So, uh, answer is equal to answer XR of the element, array of i. Alright? So at the end, we will have to return the answer that we got. Okay? Yes. So what will happen is, let's do a quick traversal. For instance, i is 0. So it will start off from here. i is less than, I think n would do. i is less than n, i plus this. Answer is equal to answer xr of i of i. So initially I start off with this. Answer is going to be 0. So it is 0 xr 9. Alright. And then in the second iteration, i will be 1. So this element will be considered. So, the answer will be right now 9. Okay, let's have it as 0 cross 9. It will be this XR with 5. Again, during the next iteration, I will be 2. Okay, so when I is 2, what happens? This entire thing, XR with 2. Fine. At the third iteration, the answer XR array of 3. Array of 3 is 5. So, it will be 0 XR, 9 XR, 5 XR, 2 XR with 5. Five. So what happened? This phi and this phi or x y will amount to 0. Okay. So we'll be left with 9 with 2. At array of 4, what happened? And then the iteration continues. I will become 4. So at 4, we reach 3. x or with 3. So this 9, x or 2, x or 3. 
and then again iteration continues i will be 5 when i is 5 9 x or 2 again with 9 Nine, nine will get cancelled. X R will amount to zero. So you have two X R three. Now I will become six. We have three here. So on X R in three and three will be amount to zero. So two X R zero will be two. So what do you get written? A written will be two, which is the desired answer, right? So this question is same as you know, occurring odd number of times. Even if you know you have two comma two comma two. This answer will hold true, okay? Occurring only except one number or you know odd occurring number can also be answered, okay? Because this two and this two will get answered, so obviously only this odd occurring, right? One two will obviously get displayed, right? So let's look at the next question.